I'm Ian Rush and you're watching the Red Men TV. James, what, what, what do you make of that? Unacceptable. You can't turn up for 10 minutes after Gerard scores a worldie to try and put a little bit of gloss on what was otherwise a diabolical performance yeah. from, from start to finish. That's a massive game for our club. We're already having a shocking season. Rodgers seems to be creating a rod for his own back. I want to support him and I will continue to support him because he's earned that. Yeah. But just the, the wrong lineup, the wrong substitutions. How, how can you put yourself in a position where you're chasing a game at home to bow? We should have walked this group, second place, not first. We should have got out of this group. Yeah. And there's no strikers on the pitch. Yeah. What the fuck is that about? Yeah, I know, absolutely. It's completely unacceptable. But why is he making those decisions? He's, he, you know, he's, has, has Barini shagged his missus or something? That's the only answer we've got for that. Or Barini is dead. I'll say it again. I've Barini. Seen Barini before. He's not dead. Yeah, he's dead. It's just, <laughs> it's just not good enough. And you, you can't, you can't put any kind of gloss on that performance. No. I it's think that's the worst thing. Is people, people will talk a bit, a bit about that and so oh, we were robbed with the sending off, and we, and that's I think we were. Made no difference to that result. You think? We, we got what we deserved today, which was yeah, fuck all. <laughs> I still don't, do, you, do you think we'd have scored two there? No, well, that, that's it. There's no guarantees we'd have scored. And I think you're right. That what I'm saying is that it gives us that course to say, oh, well, we, we fought valiantly, the red yeah, card. Yeah, you're right, it does. But the, the questions need to be asked about that. And I think that goes back to that first half performance. I think you're dead right, James. But you look at, you've got Mignolet, who is, is, his confidence is nowhere. None of the back four trust him. We are so easy to play against. You look at that first half, all they did was press his eye at the pitch, Give us a little bit of space in midfield and put a man on Sterling. Yeah. It is a piece of piss. None of the back two Dutch. Do you see that time when Lovren's near the halfway line? And fucking Skirtle's at the back and they're looking at each other. They don't trust each other. No one trusts Mignolet. It's just a shambles at the back. You know, you... <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be all right, man. <laughs> oh, for what? Oh, for United on Sunday, I'm fearing that trip. What, um, do you, what, what, are you, what are you thinking ahead of United then? Well, look, it's United, so anything can happen because it, we ate them, they ate us, and at some point we've got to put in a performance so, which says, do you know what, we're Liverpool and we do care, but Rodgers needs to go home tonight and get his fucking drawing board out yeah. and work out what the fuck he's trying to do because none of it makes sense at the moment. Absolutely. False dawn, you know, I was at Leicester and, was, you know, it's a bit of fun for once, but... It is, it's fucking less to the bottom of the fucking league. Yeah. It's, it's just not good enough for the moment, mate. It's, it's not good enough. It's not. James, What's come that, here. James? Come here. Oh. It's, it's going to be all right. So thanks for that. I feel loads worse now. Fucking uh, <laughs> Robbed. I just don't know what to say at the moment. Just gutted. I need a pint and a lie down, mate. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> need more than a pint, mate. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>